Hello dreamers, welcome back to yet another episode with me, Scholastica Atieno. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and join the dream team. We are here, we don't play about our dreams here. If you are a dreamer, please join the team. Most of you, if not some of you, have been in my DMs. Yes, you're asking, tell us how can we come to Dubai? What are the things we should we look up to? I'm here to spill the tea. So guys, I know it's been a while since we have a sit down video and the last sit down video I did, did so well. And here I am with another one. And you have to watch this till the end. It's very informative. Each and every point that I've noted down, I even have my notebook have vital information so make sure you watch till the end because that is for people who want to come to dubai or visit or whichever you're trying to find a new path for yourself so make sure you watch till the end i think this is video for all of you if not some of you <laughs> let's see okay so number one do not come to dubai do i repeat do not come to dubai without researching research is very important let me explain this is very important this is very important what do i mean dubai is con constantly changing laws each and every i would say each and every day not dubai uae because dubai is just a city in the uae so uae, UAE laws keep changing each and every time so i remember when i was coming that was only a year ago last year me so there was the three months visa there was the two months visa and there was the tourism visa which is probably a month and less which is like two weeks one week like that so right now we still have the three months visa but when you want to renew you're not allowed to renew three months visa only two months visa only two months visa is allowed to renew but during our time you could even renew three months visa another thing that has changed is right now if you are to renew any visa if you are to come to dubai and then you want to renew again let's say you have finished three months and then you're still not finding a job you want to renew your visa again because definitely you don't want to go back to your home country right now you have to exit the country for you to be able to renew your visa this was not there during my time only last year only one year ago this was not there one year ago right now you have to exit you go to either kuwait qatar whichever country you exit and then you come back with a fresh visa so another information that i forgot to mention to you guys is be very careful before you make any visa with any agent be very vigilant do your due diligence and make sure that this agent is reliable not only reliable but they have a physical office in the uae because currently uae has changed their laws that you cannot renew your visa with another agent because during our time you can i use the different agent and when renewing i can use another agent no now that one is not allowed the agent who made for you your first visa is the agent who will keep renewing for you until you find a job so make sure the agent you use is very reliable and you can you can actually vote for them they you have made sure they have a physical office and that's why i insist to research and know which current laws uae is using at the moment what i would advise is if you want to come to uae much better you come just now because i think in the next few months maybe they will even remove this visit visa option i mean they are constantly renewing so you never know you never can know you never know what uae will do because especially so this is to tell you that constantly UAE is changing their laws and make sure you don't come without checking what is the current laws at the moment. This takes me to point number two, certainty of jobs. My dear, let me tell you, I'm here 
to spill the tea. I'm here to spill the tea. I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. I'm not here to to lie to you. Number one, do not come here with expectations. Zero expectations. Zero. You just come praying and hoping that you, you will welcome you well. And that's it. Because I've seen people who have stayed more than six months, more than eight months without a job here in Dubai. So do not come with expectations. Another thing I will tell you is if you are to come, do not take two months visa. At least take three months visa. That is like it's uh, expanding the time that you would have here. So probably if you're lucky enough, you might get a job uh, within three months. But another thing that is changing last year when I was here, the number of job opportunities compared to now, I think has reduced like 10%. I would say 10% has reduced. I tell you what, I have friends, two friends who have come, who came this year, I think this year around um, April, May, June, around there, until now, still no jobs. So, like, because for me, I came last year and within three months I got a job. My friends came, within three months they got a job. So that's why I'm telling you, do not come with an expectation. Things might backfire because this is why. Because of the tourism visa, because of the three months visa, the UAE is kind of more open to allowing people to easily come into the country. When you compare to Europe, when you compare to America, US, Australia, their visa is uh, strict, not like the UAE. So that makes it easy for people to come to UAE more than other countries. So given meaning, within the last one year, so many people have been recorded inside Dubai. So meaning the number of work availability is reducing. So that's why I don't come with expectations. Come prepared with, <laughs> out. I don't know pocket money. No, this will not be pocket money. Come having enough savings. Have enough savings for yourself because it can get hard. I'm just telling you. Number three is the necessary documents. People are asking me every time, what should I carry, what should I? What I will tell you is make sure you have all your certificates. If you were lucky enough to go to campus, come with all your certificates. If you're lucky enough to go to college, you did the diploma certificate, whichever you did, come with all your certificates and make sure they are attested. Attested by your school. If it's not attested by your school, it will give you too much headache and then again, doing all the attestation processes here which is more expensive because now you have to go to the consulate of your country to help you it's a lot of process so to avoid all that just make sure all your certificates are attested no need to people are asking me do i need to come with the um, police clearance no you do not need police clearance from kenya mostly if you find a job in the uae either dubai or abu dhabi or Sharjah, let me call it uae more, the employer will request you to do a police clearance certificate from dubai because most of the time they know from our home country like we do we some home countries are not straightforward just like dubai so they don't they want to avoid that they want to make sure they're employing the right candidate for the position they want to make sure you're not you are never arrested your fingerprints are just clean they just want to make sure that so no need to take your police clearance certificate from kenya just come here yeah. in terms of documents we have agreed come with all your certificates which are attested and make sh no need to take police clearance certificate, only your, your documents, only that. Those are the documents needed. If you're able to work, if you have a, let me tell you one. Please guys, you have, to, when you come here, you have to train your mind to work within these people's mindsets. In that, what do I mean? 
in the UAE, it's really hard. I would say 0% chance of you being employed without any experience. Zero. And let me tell you, they will at some point they will discard the fact that you are a graduate. They will disregard that. They will disregard, they will not care you are a graduate. As long as you don't have experience, please. The most important thing here in the UAE, I've come to realize that if you do not have experience within the line of job you're looking for, mm -mm, please. That to say, just even in your previous uh, country or whichever, but most importantly, it's really hard to find a job without you experience or Gulf experience. So to say, like Qatar, Bahrain, Kuwait. Dubai, if you have experience in those countries, you have an upper chance. But if you're just straight from your domestic country, like say Africa or Asia, especially African countries and Asian countries, most of the time they will not consider you. Most of the time, get me right, most of the time they will not consider your experience. They will want you to start afresh from the UAE. So coming to UAE, make sure even if you have 20 years experience in Kenya, it is zero when you come here. Even if you have 10 years experience as let's say as an IT manager or as a lawyer, as an engineer, as a whatever, whichever faculty, you will have to come here and start afresh. And most of the time, most of the time, I'm not here to disappoint anyone. Honestly, please take this on a positive note. I'm not here to discourage anyone, but your experience in your domestic country do not matter. But uh, most countries they will consider is if you're from America, you're from Australia, you're from Europe, definitely they'll consider your, <laughs> they will consider your experience. But if you're from Africa, Asia, I'm sorry, boo, but you'll just have to start afresh. So come to Dubai having that in mind. And do not have a salary expectation because it will be based on the company that you will find. Because most of the time, Dubai will humble you. I'm, I'm Mostly I'm specifying Dubai because I'm living in Dubai. I'm not in Abu Dhabi. So Dubai will humble you, girl. You will come here with, oh, I want... Go on. <laughs> you will stay here without a job three months over. You have to exit the country, come back again, renew your visa, and start afresh again. To a point, you will be like, whichever job comes, it's okay, I'm willing to take. Whichever job comes, I'm willing to take. I surrender. And that's why I'm telling Dubai will humble you. So don't come with the expectations. Please do not come with expectations. But most of the time it will I'm just speaking of the worst case scenario, but most of the time for my case, God was fortunate enough. If you don't know my story, I have a video. I will link it down in the description box. If you don't know how I came and my process, my channel, the journey I took until I got my job, I will link the video. Please make sure to watch it till the end. It's very informative. Point number four. I don't know number four or number five. The most, the good thing with Dubai is there is career progression. The only thing I love about Dubai is career progression is top notch. Yes, you will come here, you will start afresh, but let me tell you, after one year, you will not be the same again. Even if you will come and do, because let me tell you for a fact, the most jobs that are easily available are receptionist jobs, are uh, waitress, cashier, customer service. But let me tell you, even if you will get that receptionist job within one year, let's say you had a career in uh, IT, an example. You had a career in IT, you had like six years experience in IT, and then you come in Dubai, you're not able to find the IT job that you are looking for. But then God favorably lands you in a 
let's say a receptionist job you do it for one year within one year as long as now you have acquired yourself the license it's like a license let me say like that because working in a ua is the big deal so at least you have one year experience in UAE, so you can switch up jobs and take the job according to your faculty right and even if you will not do that every like in uae laws every employer is supposed to follow the rules so if if you are an employee in uh, Dubai, you are guaranteed of yearly bonus and sometimes, depending on your employer, this one, but the bonus is there. But this one, salary increment is depending on your employer. The salary increment mostly is usually after two years of, of your contract because most of the contracts here are uh, within two years. So, so after after two years of your contract so definitely you are most probably you most probably not all employers don't get me wrong not all but most employers will guarantee your salary increment so definitely there is a higher chance of career progression in dubai which is one thing i love about dubai and the working environment is so flexible like working in dubai is Again, if you get a good employer, working in Dubai is very flexible, very smooth and everything. The only tough times in Dubai is starting. Starting up, I'm going to guarantee you, starting is going to be hard. Starting will be. <laughs> but some people, it's easy. It depends. But my journey, it was hard. But then after you, you get settled down, you're gone and you kind of think like, Mm, it's worth it it's definitely worth it so on to my next point is before you come to Dubai make sure you do your research I will repeat this research and research again which if the current laws if the current regulations if, if the current set standards are meeting your needs because they keep changing i repeat this they keep changing another thing is before you get employed let's say you've already come to dubai before you sign your contract make sure it's with a legal company make sure it's with a legal company this company is following all the uae rules because some company will not make for you visa and i tell you visa is the headache in uae <laughs> Because you cannot work without a valid visa. If you go on overstay, like if you overstay your, your welcome in Dubai, you get in overstay charges and definitely you don't want to be in the wrong books of a foreign country. Because once you're in the wrong books of UAE, definitely coming back again is going to be a problem. Because uh, you will never receive visa so make sure if you come if your visa is expiring make sure you renew your visa before your expiry date so that you just you avoid getting in wrong books of the bank and make sure you get into a good company make sure the company is paying you on time make sure they are making your visa make sure you you are assured of yearly bonus yearly um vacation also <laughs> vacation but the bonuses is not a must that one is not a must but vacation is a must bonus depends on how much value you're giving to the company and if your boss is thinking you deserve it then definitely but the, another good thing is they will always appreciate your value so if you're giving value definitely that's why there's so many so many companies have commissions so if you're doing above your target so definitely you'll get a commission you'll get an appreciation it's not like that you will just work 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 and no one is saying like five years down the line you're still in the same same salary mm -mm, no not yet so on to my next point point number seven is let's say you're already here let let us now talk about surviving and living in Dubai. Number one, the most important question you will ask me is housing. How is housing in Dubai? Yeah. For me, according to my home country, 
Okay, I know some of you are maybe from America, you're from Europe, when you come to Dubai, definitely you will think Dubai's housing is cheap. But if you're coming from African countries or Asian countries, then definitely housing is expensive. If you say expensive, it's ex <laughs> it's expensive. Let me tell you, for you to live comfortably, comfortably in a studio house, studio is like a bed sitter. You'd probably need my whole income. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Honestly, to stay in a bed sitter, a studio apartment, living alone, would cost you oh my god it's more than 150 kilo shillings more than that is like the basic i think the basic yeah 150 it's crazy so housing is expensive if you are the baby girl if you want to live comfortable if you want to have a space of your own have privacy have the then god you get work hard work hard or do whatever you want but it's not easy it's not cheap another thing is transportation <laughs> transportation i wouldn't say it's expensive transportation uh, i would say is normal and the good thing about dubai is the government have set in place right buses for each and every route so and then we have an app for just the buses buses and taxis because all the buses and taxis are owned by the government so it makes it easier makes it convenient for everyone to use so definitely you'll just go in the app and you check the bus for your route which time it will pass so definitely you prepare yourself and you're never late this it's so convenient and i wouldn't say it's uh, expensive no it's affordable for transportation affordable another thing is uh, food Food, I would say, also it's affordable. I wouldn't say like food is too expensive. It's affordable. You can manage. And another thing is health. The only thing I'm always praying about is, ah, oh my God, keep me safe, keep me healthy. All the time I'll be Dubai because it's fucking expensive. <laughs> it's so expensive going to a hospital and even you dare to sleep one night in a hospital oh my god it's expensive <laughs> another thing is but the good thing is all companies it's uae laws that everyone should have insurance so once you're working at least you know that one is catered for but not all companies do and then some companies they will not give you full insurance they will just give you outpatient but if you were to fall really sick and you, like you're admitted as an inpatient then definitely you have to cater for your hospital bill you go there the only prayer you have to make every day is for god to keep you healthy and you continue doing your work that's it okay another thing someone will ask is education like you know come to think of it i've never had someone say i went to study in the uae because damn it's expensive <laughs> it's so expensive damn if you want to really study in the get your money right get your money right mm. I hope I'm able to uh, answer all your questions, but then another thing I will add is Dubai life is fun. You should come here. If I'm here, then no reason you shouldn't come. Come, we face the world together. <laughs> and I will leave you lastly, but not the least, the only thing that is hard to find in Dubai forget about job you will find a job you will take six months roughly or less but you will find a job the 
only thing that is hard to find in Dubai is a spouse. <laughs> you, you're a man and you want a, a, a wife? Please find elsewhere. You're a lady and you're looking for a husband elsewhere, please. Dubai, a, a relationship is not here to play. Because I mean, like, come to think of it, everyone is coming to Dubai or to UAE to seek greener pastures. So their focus, their energy is towards working, looking for that money. Like, no one is here to find love, unfortunately, so many of them. Or if they do, not for the right reasons, you get? Just to survive. So finding a spouse, finding a wife is the hardest, hardest thing to do in Dubai. But I hope you come and you find me. I'm trying. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope the video is so beneficial and hoping to catch up again next time. Thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe watch till the end and give me a like please like my videos comment down below if you have any questions whatsoever feel free to dm me on my instagram i'm free to reply you but maybe my red card is rising so maybe i'll start charging but as of now it's still free so feel free to <laughs> leave your messages and your comments down below i'll be happy to reply to all of them thank you so much bye